hello my people so this is a video show you how to navigate through the new crp of the corporate affairs commission we all know that there have been so many changes on the portal so um some of us are finding it difficult and um, i don't want to speak a lot so i said i was going to make this video a tool mode a laptop that's your desktop and the mobile because the interface is more friendly on your laptop than on your smartphone but not to make it limited to using a laptop i decided to make this video for you on your um using my android phone so that you can also and get familiar with the portal on your smartphone so without wasting much of our time hit the subscribe button and let's get right into the video so for your mobile phone, when you log into your account, um, this is how it's going to be looking like because it's a mobile phone, it's not a laptop. So what I want you to do is that if you click on this three dot icon here, you go back to desktop site and click on desktop site. This will allow you to um, have a clearer view of your interface. So this is how it looks like. So what I'm going to be doing now is to be rotating my screen so that you can see everything very well so i'll click on my auto rotate and rotate my screen so this is my screen on its rotated version and um i'm just going to quickly explain so the changes on this portal is um actually focusing on the pre-incorporation and not just and not the post-incorporation the only advantage is that we have the post incorporation on the same URL as the pre incorporation, meaning that we do not have to log out of our pre incorporation to access the post incorporation. So if you just click on this, it's going to take you straight into your post your post incorporation dashboard. But we don't have any issues there because there was really no change there apart from the company annual returns plan, which I already did a video on that. So if you have not seen it, please do go to check that. So we have the pre-incorporation. And now the pre the pre-incorporation um, was subdivided into name reservation, name requiring consent and registration. So I will just quickly go ahead to explain what this means. So for the name reservation, you can only use that option to reserve business names that do not require or that do not have restricted names on it. So, and also company name that do not have restricted name limited by partnership, limited liability partnership. So you can actually use this to register names such as that. So for the name requiring content, that is apl applicable to names like um, foundation that has foundation association safety any name that requires you to pay five thousand naira is a name that requires consent please take note of that as far as it's required to pay five thousand naira for now i'm not talking about the new fees because from august 1st the fees will be changed and be used like will be in um effect like will be used okay then for your registration that option you are going to be seeing both the names that require consent and names that do not require consent so let's quickly go into each of the dashboard so we have our name reservation i'm going to click on it so once you click on it it's okay it's already open so we have the non submitted applications pending and queried and approved application so we know that they don't query business name they don't query company so we shouldn't expect any query from the commission so we have um approved so i'm going to click on this so on the approved we have these actions right here so if your name has been approved you're going to be seeing it as approved and we have the option to start the business registration which is your go to business registration and then you can also view the details of the registration you can delete the if you could if you do not want the name you can download your receipt so those are the stops that are on these actions okay so if you have um, a new name that you want to submit this is where you click here new reservation you click on this and it's going to take you into the um it's going to take you to a fresh page for your reservation and then 
that's for name reservation this video is not about how to register a business name okay so i will be going deep into it so we have the next on the list which is the name requiring content so um yeah the same thing if you want to apply for a name reservation you click on apply for consent when you click on that it's going to bring up the next page you click on the classification like i said while you are seeing business name if you have a business name that has um, a restricted name you are you'll be needing to pay five thousand euros so that means it's requiring a consent code so that's why you are also seeing business name company incorporate your stay in limited life and partnership there so you come um, such your business type and that so when you make payment and all of that your um job or the name should be on pending applications and when it's approved it should be on approved applications this same thing applies to approved applications so when it's approved on the actions you can actually see go to registration which is to start your registration another thing is you can download your receipts and also view your application details so that side for your name reservation for your ngo business name limited liabilities requiring consent and all of that so the next dashboard or the next on our dashboard is that of the registrations so we have the not submitted application these are where all the jobs you clicked all the jobs you actually clicked on to start your registration this is where they appear so they appear on the not submitted application so if you click on them you are going to be seeing your not submitted application so um for some of us we are actually not seeing our jobs on the portal so please make sure that you click on all these subheaders because we have um we might see you might see zero query but when you click on that you are going to see so many queries just like we have it right here in our name requiring content you can see that the query application here is zero but when we click on it there are three queried names for name reservation okay so let's go back to the registration and um yeah so when you submit your registration it's going to be on pending applications and when the registration has been approved and your certificate has been issued you're going to see that on approved applications and then if you have your av code and you want to make use of it you click on this register new business you impute the um, av code there you click on continue and it's going to open up a fresh page for your registration so when you have submitted your application like i said it's going to be on approved that's if no query and it was actually approved so on your um register for new business and you have clicked on something you can actually go to the actions and continue your application you can check your payment status that after your payment has been made and then you can also view your application so the part of being queried and you don't know how to navigate through your query okay we have to go back to the reservation to also see how to identify queries but let's focus on this um part of the application so on this dressing grace i'm going to click on this action right here so for you to see your queries you have to click on action and then you click on view query history it's going to bring out your query so for this is saying no queries meaning that um i think you know that the portal is not actually stable so for now the person of this job can actually resubmit and which for another query since there are no queries or if actually there are no queries if she resubmits it she's going to have an approval so there are some names that we have queries on let's check this review query history so we have a query on this and if the owner of this job resolves it it's going to move to pending application pending application so to resolve this kind of query you click on modify application and then if the query was um, queried on to change name the name has been approved and during the time of your submission it was queried you actually click on substitute name and it's going to bring out an option like this for you okay so that is that for that part so i said i wanted to show you something on this query so in case you are checking your query and you are not seeing where to identify your query so here i'm going to click on query applications and this is right here so for you to see the query on this job you have to click on action and then you click on modify application so when you click on modify application your query is going to appear here and then once you read your query 
then you know what to do just go ahead to adjust so that is that for this video so i just hope that the video was helpful and if it was helpful please like subscribe and share this video to as many as many that would need it and many that will love to have the information or have the idea on how to navigate through the portal so that will be all for now i wish you all the best and bye for now